It's you on old Menawi. Come and see. Come closer, good people. You have come at the right time, Your Excellency. I am in a delicate situation and your help would be invaluable. I'm listening, Admiral. Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the Guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Norts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. I'm counting on you, Your Excellency. We must shed light on this case. Manfred, the quartermaster of New Serene Garrison, told me that he'd received a letter from you. Was one of your ships hijacked by the guard? The Trident and its crew were commandeered by the San Mateus garrison. <laughs> commandeered? We will not let ourselves be threatened by these land pirates. The guard has no idea who it is dealing with. I have already sent several of our warships to board the Trident and release its crew. The guards taken on board shall be given no quarter. I understand, Admiral. But Quartermaster Manfred was as surprised as you to hear this news. That's why he asked me to investigate. The Guard never gave the order for such an operation. So these mercenaries do not even know how to manage their men? Remarkable. We will not deal with the Guard until Manfred cleans up his ranks. No more of these hireling thugs will set foot on my ships. The nobles will just have to do without their bodyguards. I will tell them, Admiral. And know that I am fully aware of the problems that caused this act of piracy. Not only for the Guard, but for all the nations on this island. I will do everything to find those responsible. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will eagerly await your news. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. The Admiral knows that we can't do anything without the force of the Guard. By prohibiting them from transport, she is putting everyone at risk, leaving us to take care of the problem.
And what can I do for you? Quartermaster Manfred sent me. I was expecting such a visit. And I'm glad Manfred sent an external investigator. This commandeering business may just spell the end of the guard. Without the Nord's transport, we are finished. I don't understand what could have happened. I can assure you that we have never issued an order to that effect. <laughs> it's as if some members of the Guard obey others' commands. We had trouble with a criminal organization within the Guard. I wouldn't be surprised if they were behind this matter once again. Oh, this is terrible news, Your Excellency. How can we sort the good apples from the bad? By speaking to those in charge of those in command of this town. And trying to unravel the truth from the lies. Since you neutralized Major Herman and his gang, three lieutenants have been leading the troops. While waiting for a new senior officer to be appointed, they are Lieutenants Alexander, Klaus, and Ermelind. Do you think they're honorable? I won't vouch for them, if that's what you're asking. I, I don't know them well enough. Thank you, Quartermaster. I'll go and find them. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Desardé. Oh! You are the legate of the congregation. You're quite the celebrity amongst our ranks. I am Lieutenant Alexander. Did you need me? I'm conducting an investigation into the illegal commandeering of the ship, the Trident. We must work fast and find out who organized this act of piracy. Or, we will all pay the price. Do you know the men who seized the ship and who they served under? All I can tell you, Your Excellency, is that I'm sure they were not under my orders. As foolish as it sounds, we don't know the identity of the soldiers involved. Since our previous commander's coup attempt, there's been tremendous upheaval. We lack senior officers, the registers are not up to date, and many men are on the run. I suspect the supporters of the coup who escaped the trial may be responsible. It's not impossible. I dealt with Major Herman who was serving Commander Torsten, but I didn't take care of his men. It's only an idea, of course. But one that seems most logical to me. I'll leave you, Lieutenant. Hello, Lieutenant. Desardé, Legate of the Merchant Congregation. Lieutenant Klaus, what can I do for you, Your Excellency? I'm investigating the illegal commandeering of a nought ship that took place here in San Mateus. Do you happen to know the men responsible and the officer they served under? I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I don't know. I only took office in this city two weeks ago. I'm just getting to know my troops. I was sent here to remedy the lack of officers following the arrest of the commander's men. Are you sure that this commandeering is not the isolated act of a few homesick recruits? Not totally sure, but it's very unlikely. Managing the crew of a nought ship requires great numbers and organization. I see. In that case, sorry for not being more useful. Farewell, Lieutenant.
Hello. I am... Desade, Legate of the Merchant Congregation, right? Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. Lieutenant Ermeland, at your service. Well, I didn't know I was so famous. Can you tell me anything about the ship that was commandeered by the guards? A complete act of piracy, if you want my opinion. Do you know who these guards were and under which officer they served? No, and no soldier is missing here as far as I know. This is very strange. But since the commander's attempted coup, everything has gone to hell here. Men start muttering as soon as we have our backs turned. Some recruits have suffered violence, but refuse to name their attackers. Do you think something is going on? It seems obvious to me that some people took advantage of this unrest to line their own pockets. Mm, I see. Thank you. I'll leave you to it. Farewell, Lieutenant. Your Excellency, if you really want to know what's going on in this barracks, find me tonight near the church. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Quiet. No one must know that I spoke to you. I am Sergeant Franz, and I'm prepared to help you. Don't forget the church tonight. The Lieutenant's interrogation produced nothing. This Sergeant is our only lead. I wasn't sure you'd come. That will be understandable. It's better to be wary with Egon. What do you know about this organization? More than I would like. I'm part of it. Now ask me any questions you want. We don't have much time. Who took possession of the ship? And for what purpose? Soldiers from the garrisons. Members of Egon's organization. The boat was supposed to be used to transport the island captives to the mainland. Someone must have had enough of only being able to move a few slaves at a time. 
hidden in the holes. Now they've pulled this big stunt, they've not only attracted the wrath of the Noughts, but also your attention. Egon would never have made such a mistake, and they'll make the fool who did suffer dearly. If you're part of this organization, why did you want to talk to me? I joined this gang some time ago, without realizing the extent of their power. I naively thought that it would only be a matter of completing a few small secret protection missions, but I found myself involved in a sordid business with the Young Islanders. We captured them to sell them as slaves. They're very popular in brothels. I participated for a long time without batting an eye, but I ended up bonding with one of the captured islanders, and the horror of this trafficking has finally hit home. I don't want it to happen to her. Who took possession of the ship? So the someone, now they've pulled the Egon, wouldn't it? If you're part of this organization, why did you want to talk to me? I joined this gang some time ago. With I found we captured the participant and the horror of it. Do you know who Egon is? Or at least who runs this organization? No. Everything is very compartmentalized. Each group knows only its direct superior, never the one above. Not only do I not know the big boss, but I don't know anything about his other activities. And who gives you your orders? Lieutenant Ermelin, that woman is ruthless. After the business with the ship, she decided to make a clean sweep, probably to avoid the wrath of Egon. She told us that we had to get rid of the islanders we still held captive. She wants to clean up behind us to avoid leaving any trace. My friend is among them. If I can't find a way to stop Ermelind, she will die. If we want to prevent this massacre, we will have to intervene quickly. Where are the islanders held captive? They're kept in a former logging facility on the outskirts of town. Is it well guarded? No, numbers are small to avoid arousing suspicion. But when Ermelin comes with her troops to get rid of the young people, it'll be a very different story. Well, we'll take control of the operation before that happens, by getting rid of the guards. When Ermelin and her soldiers come, we will use the element of surprise to neutralize them. With all due respect, there will be many. Are you sure you'll be able to face them? We could ask for help from one of the native clans, the Storm Warriors, for example. Do you think they would? If it only involved us, I doubt it. But it's about saving their own young people. They'll also be able to give them shelter when we free them. We will need to act quickly. I fear Ermelin will take action any moment now. I'll go get help in Vedlug as soon as possible and take care of the operation. Thank you. I'll arrange to be appointed as the scout for Ermelin's squad. That way I can let you know when we arrive. We should go to Vedlug. Let me accompany you. Derdra is always suspicious. I could help you convince her. What do you seek?
I have come to ask for your help, Deirdre. A group of guards captured young natives and turned them into slaves. But now they want to get rid of them to avoid drawing attention to themselves. I want to free them and stop these guards. But we will need support from warriors. You are our currents. We will help you. But you have to tell me more precisely what this is about. The prisoners are in a former logging facility near San Mateus. I know where it is. The Renaiks who massacred the forest there. We will get rid of the guards there and release the prisoners. But if any soldiers are sent to kill them thereafter, can we rely on you to intervene? I will send you my two best warriors. I can't give you any more right now. They will find you where the forest has suffered. Anything more? I need to be going. Well, will I'm sick. Here is the logging facility. The prisoners must be in that cabin. No one passes. I will pass without your permission. You're free. Thank you. May the trees always bear fruits on your journey. It was Sergeant Franz who told us where to find you. Franz? So he kept his word. I had hoped he would. 
Stay hidden here for now. We will set a trap for the people who captured you. Then we will fight by your side. They will pay for what they have done to us. No, you're in no condition to fight. It's better that you stay here. When we are done with them, you can return home. Thank you for coming to lend us a hand. I'm surprised. Deirdre said that she would only send two warriors. It's not a Senged in Anadas. It's a Gaius Rad, a warrior from my clan. But Tirtuma Donegad. She told Eseld your story, and we wanted to come. Young people from our clan have been captured, and we believe they are here. When Xavier also sent a warrior for the same reason. We are most grateful for your help. Thanks to you, we can stop those who captured them. You're there. Were you able to get rid of the guards? Yes, and we have released the prisoners. But there are still others that we have to defeat. I see you've managed to bring allies. With them, we have every chance of winning. Ermelind and her troops shouldn't be long. You should take position. Anything to report, Sergeant Franz? Negative, Lieutenant. Everything is quiet. Where did the guards go? I don't know. How can you not know? Hey, what's going on? We got them. Make sure Lieutenant Ermelind is shackled and brought back to San Mateus. She will probably be sent to New Serene to be interrogated by Manfred. She has a lot to teach us about Egon. I hope she can help you put an end to all of this. Can we all go home now? Yes. We will escort you. Breg, it's thanks to you that I realized what we were doing. I hope you'll forgive me one day for being one of those monsters. In the meantime, I will do everything I can to help stop this smuggling for good. You are a better man than you think, friends. When you're finished, return and see me at Wen Xavier. We will be glad to see you again. We should go. Let's report to Quartermoth.
Excellency. I was told you had returned with prisoners. Yes. Lieutenant Ermelind organized the slave trade on behalf of the organization I told you about. Her men captured natives who were then sold here or smuggled to the mainland. We also found out that they commandeered a naught ship to speed things up. What madness. I guess Manfred will want to have her questioned. Lieutenant Alexander, you will accompany her with some men. Quartermaster, at your orders. And you, Sergeant. I understand that you participated in the despicable actions of this traitor. It's true, Quartermaster. I recommend clemency. Without his help, we would not have discovered what this was about. I see. You will accompany Lieutenant Alexander. Manfred would like to talk to you. But I will make sure that he knows what role you played in this case. Thank you, Quartermaster. Well, I'll let you get on, sirs. Thank you very much for your help, Your Excellency. Travel safe. Well, things seem to be in order here now. We should go and warn Manfred. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I was able to clarify the story about the ship, and we arrested the person in charge. I've already been told all this. Lieutenant Alexander came before you did. He told me the whole thing, and he didn't fail to tell me everything we owe you. I have already sent a letter to the Admiral explaining what happened and offering reparations. I hope she will forgive us. Anyway, I thank you very much. Once again, you have worked wonders, Your Excellency. We couldn't have done anything without Sergeant Franz. He showed admirable courage. I imagine he's joined your forces. <sighs> that doesn't ring a bell. I don't think a sergeant by that name is stationed here. Hmm, strange. It seemed to me that Quartermaster Herbert told him to come and find you. Well. Or perhaps he changed his mind. With this business going on, he must be sorely lacking in men. Anyway, know that our investigation has finally paid off. Lieutenant Alexander arrested many criminals with information obtained from prisoners. You should go find him. He's with Captain Ulrich. Captain Ulrich? 
the highest ranking captain in the garrison. He's an old man who was not often found in the field, but faced with such a scandal, he had to intervene personally. Thank you, Manfred. I'll go find them. <laughs> 